Let me just give you a quick little heads up on my configuration settings. Uh, I have triple buffering turned off on ZSNES because I'm using 1.31, the version, uh, in which I could use a video recorder to record this instead of fraps. But uh, if I did, <clears throat> I would not, um, what's it called? I would not be able to convert this to a format capable of uploading to YouTube. And so I'm using Fraps to record instead. And this way I can record a microphone at the same time. And you guys can hear myself be stupid while being stupid because stupid. I use interpolation high resolution mode 7 to get the best resolution 640 by 480 DR full seems to be the set the the best settings to use for my particular setup uh, for actually recording fraps I would use the 800 by 600 setting but when I do that for some reason I can't record fraps unless I have triple buffering on and when I have triple buffering on the game lags so what I do is I turn the triple buffering off and instead I use um, in my option settings, I turn on V-Sync. Okay. Let us continue. It's one of the best games ever made. We're going to clear this data. Completely. Start from the get-go. And play this legitimately. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is in. No, it's not. Shut up. Shut up. Let me let me watch the game. God damn it. Yeah. Cinematics. Uh, I hate cinematics. Uh, this is why other M was so bad. I don't want to. I don't want to watch cutscenes. Don't worry. It's only in the introduction. And uh, until other M, the Metroid games had a knack of only leaving the cinematics for the introduction. Even the Prime games kept kind of slow on the cinema, even Prime 3. Even though it had the talking scenes, they were kept to a minimum, and they were more objective-based. Just like, here's what you have to do, that's it. Uh, what I love about this game is, unlike any side-scrolling Metroid that preceded this game, this game is not objective-based. It is objective-based, but the game doesn't directly tell you what to do, you kind of figure it out for yourself by looking around. You know, you look around and you're just like, oh, there's this giant stone structure showing pictures of bosses. So obviously I need to kill these bosses in order to advance. You know, that kind of a thing. In which, you know, in Metroid Fusion, you would land in navigation rooms, it would tell you where you were headed. Try to get there, it would give you a goal, destroy six eggs, you know, objectives, uh, as you bypass the game. And there were a few scenes where, like, it's just like, holy shit, the power's cut off. Now I have to figure out on my own what to do. But it's still made uh, obvious enough that you can figure out what to do. While Super Metroid makes it moderately obvious enough. But if you're a noob at the game and you're on your first run through, the game will take hours to beat for the first time. It will take a while for you to figure out what to do. But it's not impossible to figure out what to do. It's actually once you figure out where you're supposed to be headed and what power-ups you need to advance, you realize that it's actually pretty obvious and the game was built for you to figure out how to advance. Which is why Super Metroid is praised as being one of the, if not the best side-scroller ever made. At least historically, because it was the first game to do what it did, and became the model for every other game to follow. So it may not be the best, may not be graphically the best, but it was, it is one of Super Nintendo's most powerful looking games. Uh, the sprites for Samus herself are incredibly good. The running looks very realistic, and her feet match the floor when she's moving. It actually looks really cool. And this game is fast, unlike the Castlevania games. You move very quickly, you jump very high, and this is without even using the high jump. Okay. Dun 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 d
Look, okay, I'm doing the waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. Yay. Alright. Oh no, the place is gonna explode. It's going to explode. Oh, oh no, oh, oh, it's gonna explode. Oh, I don't wanna explode. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh look, there are dead people. Hi, dead people. Oh wait, you can't. You're, you're dead. Excuse me, I burped. Oh no, falling debris! Falling debris from the sky! My only weakness! As you can see, um, when you turn off triple buffering, you do get a little clipping vertically, uh, graphically, but it's very minimal, and the game runs perfectly. If you have the right computer setup for it, it runs great. It looks great. Uh, I think it even runs better than it does on my Wii when I play this game on Virtual Console. Personally. Even though, you know, it clips a little bit. I still prefer playing it on the Virtual Console just for that nostalgic classic experience of playing it on a standard television. Big screen, scan lines. You can simulate scan lines using ZSNES, but for the purpose of speedrunning and showing you the good quality of the game, you know, for Super Nintendo games, is very graphically apt. So, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, man, gonna make this happen. Oh man, I slowed myself down. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if Ego Raptor ever does sequelitis for um, a Metroid franchise game, I want him to either do. Uh, this game or Metroid 2. I think he should do. I would suggest he do. Metroid Fusion versus Metroid 2. Because Metroid Fusion and Metroid 2 are both 2D side scrolling games and are both objective based, where it's just like, do this and then this. Because Metroid Fusion had a lot of that. There are six reactor cores, you have to destroy them all before advancing, kind of thing. So yeah. First power up of the game! The Morphing Ball! The Ball of Morphing. Now Samus can squeeze into a ball, which I'm not gonna do, because it's actually faster to do this instead. Yeah. But I will do it in this next room! Hee 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 hee. Yeah. That's one flexible little bitch. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, so flexible! I tap that. Faux shizzle. Faux shizzle, my nizzle, extra salt on the fridge of Dr. Pepper, my brother, another for you, mother, double super size, and don't forget the fries. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That rhymed. I'm a boss! I think. Yeah. I tried to mock ball, but. You don't even need it anyway. I'll have you know that uh, there is an energy tank here, but I can't get it yet because I don't have the high jump. Or bombs. If I had bombs, I would be able to get it. So I'm not even going to bother with it right now. It's not even worth my time. Not worth my time. Not worth my time. <laughs> And the enemies have spawned. Yay! Owie, my feelings. You shoot me once, I get hurt. I shoot you once, you explode. This makes sense! Lots and lots of sense. Shut up. Yeah, shut up.